Scott Cole back with you again. Another fantasy football season. I got 36 quarterbacks you should be keeping your eye on coming up in this year's fantasy football draft. Of course, old Patty Mahomes, he is the QB one. I beg you not to draft him because you're going to have to take him so early in the second round. You're going to miss out on a key wide receiver or running back for your team. If you could somehow wait till the third or fourth round, pick up someone like Josh Allen. I know his average draft is probably somewhere closer to the start of the third round. He is also an incredible super flex quarterback. At QB3, Kyler Murray, you can pick him up in the fourth or fifth round. He says this season that he doesn't want to run as much on the ground, but if he's an every week starter, he is going to be a top five quarterback in your upcoming season. Lamar Jackson still a tier one quarterback in 22 of his 30 games since getting a start. He has averaged over 21 points per game. Some think he can even be a QB one in this draft. Now we jump in the tier twos with Dak Prescott. He is in training camp. 27 fantasy points per game in 2020 was the second highest. That's why I have him at QB five. Last season's late season struggles have some people looking away from Russell Wilson. He has been a top three quarterback four of the last seven seasons. Never finished worse than QB 11. I think he has a big year this year. Justin Herbert comes in at number seven. And although the Chargers did improve their offensive line, they did lose Hunter Henry at tight end. I do think Justin will improve. I'm just not sure his fantasy numbers will. At the end of Tier 2, it's Aaron Rodgers, but who knows if he's even playing this year and where he is playing. He's going to have to be a player that we keep an eye on as we move through the preseason. Let's move into Tier 3. At QB9, Jalen Hurts might be the biggest gamble in the draft. Remember last year, Week 15, when he went out for 38 points? Tannehill, since taking the starting job, is ranked third in fantasy points behind Allen and Lamar Jackson. And let's don't forget Julio Jones. The GOAT Tom Brady at number 11. I don't see a high ceiling on Tom. If you want consistency, you get it with Tom Brady, but what you don't get is those huge explosive games. Hey, listen, Matt Stafford now in LA finally has a single collar that's maybe going to open up his potential. I have him at QB 12, but I think Matt Stafford has a chance this year to have a top 10 upside. Might be a steal later in your draft. Joe Burrow at 13 should have limited mobility at the beginning of the season. I expect him to finish strong. At 14, people sleep on Trevor Lawrence's mobility. I think that alone will put him in the top 12. Matt Ryan somehow at the back of Tier 3. Tier 4 starts off with Kirk Cousins and the Vikings. Ryan Fitzpatrick, you know what you get. What you don't know what you get is from Baker Mayfield. He could finish top 10. Carson Wentz, new colors, better offensive line at 19, and 20 is two up. Both him and Trevor Lawrence have the highest upside of these eight. At 21's Daniel Jones, they added some firepower in the offseason. That could help. Big Ben at 22, they should have a better balance attack this year. Same with the Raiders. But Justin Fields with the Bears could have a huge upside, along with Sam Darnold, who is now with the Panthers. Jameis takes over for Breeze. He's at 27. 49ers are a complete mess. I don't know who to tell you to pick. And we got Zach Wilson starting our Tier 5 quarterbacks with the Jets this year. Three rookie quarterbacks on this board here that could finish in the top 20. Here in Tier 5, 29's Cam Newton. I'm not even sure he'll get the starting job over Mac Jones. Jared Goff falling way off, but he's with new colors. Taysom Hill, we never know what he's going to do. Teddy Bridgewater with the Broncos, but hey, Aaron Rodgers could be in Denver as far as we know. 49ers, as I mentioned, still a mess. But Deshaun Watson, here for the Texans, along with Tyrod Taylor. I got no idea if Deshaun will even play this season. Let's just all stay away from the Texans in general. Before Week 1, these will change drastically. So like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.